welcome to Red Ted Art. Today I'm going to show you how to make this apple head. Now the thing about these apple heads is they are for Halloween and the idea is, is that they will shrink and shrivel and they will look like shrunken heads. They look really good put on a stake um, outside in the garden so to welcome visitors or floating in a water bowl, little heads that you've cut and killed and let float, or um, just as a sort of Halloween decoration hanging from the ceiling, anything. So you can use lots of different ways. I use foraged apples for these, um, and I'm gonna show you now how easy it is to make these shrunken apple heads. Don't forget to subscribe. So you will need an apple, some beads or googly eyes, and a knife and we shall make our shrunken apple heads. Now, I like to really use, uh, these are apples that we foraged. So they're from a local tree that has loads and loads of apples. Nobody seems to pick these. And also they're actually a bit sour. So we usually cook with them and make things like fruit leather, um, apple crumbles. So if you add lots of sugar, it's really nice. But also because it's a, you know, a free apple that I know not many people are gonna pick and eat, I don't mind using it for crafting. And these shrunken apple heads are really good, kind of spooky, fun sort of craft um, for for Halloween. Now, if you're, so you can see here, look, it used to have some worms in it. Perfect for this craft. If you have a little worm popping out of its nose hole, brilliant. Bit of extra, uh, uh, you know, creativity there. So to make apple shrunken heads, um, I usually make them uh, maybe two or three days um, before Halloween or before any party. But to be honest, you can make them whenever and they do last a week or two. They just get smaller and smaller and wrinkly and wrinklier and just look really funny. So the first thing I do is I cut a nose. So here's the nose, it's one slice, two slice, three slice. Then over here, I'd like an eye socket. And then the next thing is take it out like this. Now, making these shrunken apple heads is a great introduction to carving for children. Now, my children are desperate to do some wood carving, and obviously, mine are still a little bit young, they're only um, five and seven. So carving an apple is a really good uh, start for them because it's really soft and we can use uh, slightly blunter knives. So once you've cut a nose like this, you take a bead, this is a pony bead, and you stick it in like that, nice and deep and dark looking. There we go. And then you basically just either you leave it like this, your very basic apple head, very simple, or you kind of shape it a little bit more, I'll see if I can get an ear in. The other good thing about these apple heads is um, if you chop an ear off, for example, by accident, you know what, it really doesn't matter because it's meant to look ghoulish. So if it's got one ear on one side and not on the other one, hey, who cares? So again, back to it being a really good introduction to um, uh, you know, wood carving and, and, and the likes. Look at that, doesn't that look fun? Um, it's actually a really good, easy, easy introduction. I'm gonna give it some little mean looking eyebrows, like that. Just shape the forehead a little bit. Here we go. And then maybe I'll just gouge out a mouth. So let's see if I can do it like so. And these apple heads, you can have either as table decorations in a bowl, you can have them floating in some water. They look really good if you stick them all on a stake in the garden um, and welcome people when they're Halloweening or trick-or-treating. Um, and yeah, so basically lots of uses. And to be honest, if you wanted to, you could still eat it as well. So here we have our crazy little shrunken, well, they'll shrink over time, apple heads. So this is still a fresh one, but it will shrink um, as you let it dry out a little bit. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to Red Ted Art and I hope to see you here again soon. Bye.